I'm going to ruffle some feathers today. Buckle up, Buttercup! To delete or not to delete, that is the question. And boy, is this a hot topic. If you ever go in the Bronco group or any forum or anything like that, you are going to get people basically fist fighting over something like this. So in today's video, I figured, you know what? I'm going to get out all the delete options and I'm going to do something that the majority of people disagree with and that's deleting the spare tire. Everyone has an argument. This is a spare tire. You shouldn't delete this. Some people like, well, you get more clearance in the back if you do heavy duty rock crawling. I'm rock crawling with other people. I don't necessarily need my spare. There's always this battle and some people like to delete their spare tire and some people don't. Same thing when it comes to flares. Some people like having the flares. Some people delete them, whether it's for looks, that's just the look they're going for, or out on the trail, sometimes your flares can get ripped off. And instead of just taking the Bronco flares off and having those holes showing, they put deletes on. So in today's video, we are gonna work on the two-door Bronco and we're going to add the Buckle Up Off-Road flare deletes. Just to show you the looks, I'm probably not gonna keep them on right now because I still have the stock wheels and tires and I just, think that's not really a look I'm willing to drive in at the moment. I'm not saying I won't do it once I get different wheels and tires, but I just want to show you the looks on that. And then we're going to delete the spare tire. I have two delete options on the website that are Buckle Up branded. Now we offer other tire deletes, I think from DVA and a couple other companies, but this is the Buckle Up off-road one. You can also relocate your license plate if you wish. I'll show you pictures of this on it, but this is not the one I'm going with. I'm going with the Mac Daddy with the track boards, the gas tanks, the shovel. It's like this whole off-road kit. Now this relocates the rear camera so you don't lose your rear camera and it just gives it a really cool aggressive look for the people that want to delete the spare tire and make it a more usable space. If you do overlanding and stuff like that you have all of these tools now on the back of your tailgate. Here are the flare deletes. These are not plastic. They are metal. They're going to come with all the hardware and everything you need to install. Very easy to install. So let's take these off, pop these babies on, and then we'll move to the spare tire delete. Now, before any of you start commenting on you don't like this look or what are you going to do if you go off road or what happens if you, you know, bust a tire open. Well, people, if you remember, I have another Bronco that is the off-road queen. I mean, she's the Badlands. This thing is very basic, has no lockers, no nothing. So I have another vehicle that I can pick up Jim if he's stranded on the side of the road. We have a bunch of other vehicles we can use. So don't even try that. And I want to add that there are modern day cars that are released. For example, Subarus that do not come and include a spare tire. That's true. Installation is very easy. You're gonna put on this little rubber grommet first on all of these pieces, line it up to the holes, and then put on the washer and the nut. Oh my gosh, I don't hate it. I think it actually looks good. I was a little hesitant with the stock tire setup on it, but man, it looks so good with that blue. I may have lied, I may be keeping this on. nice and secure. I really like it. Oh my gosh. I've never been like a huge fan of flare delete. So I've seen a couple Bronco builds. It just looks fantastic. But for my own personal taste, it's not something I've ever really desired to do on my own Bronco. But now that I have, you know, another Bronco at my disposal, I can try different things that maybe I typically wouldn't like and maybe end up loving. So that's exactly what seemed to happen here. But now it's time to take off the spare tire. And I'm not gonna lie, this one's gonna be easy peasy because it's gonna be much lighter than what I'm used to. I did it without touching my shirt. That's a win. Let's get busy.
Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to install the goodies onto the mount. This comes with two two gallon gas tanks. So you don't have to worry about getting tanks like this. This comes with the mount. These do not have gas in them at the current moment because we just got finished with Hurricane Milton and there's a gas shortage among many other things. Next, we've got the track boards here. We're going to have a nice little setup here. I really like this mount because it does relocate your rear camera, so you're not going to lose that functionality. I know nobody wants to ever lose that. You get a heavy duty mount for your third brake light, but it also comes with this gas strut, so it makes opening and closing this much easier with that gas strut. And since I just went through Hurricane Milton and I went through this whole gas shortage and people like freaking out, this also comes with a lock. So once you install this and clip it all up, you can put a lock on top of it. Now I'm going to add our last four pieces of hardware. This just kind of secures it that little extra bit. It does have the latch, which I think it would hold just fine, but um, it does come with these extra pieces to really hold it and secure it into place. You do get this nice shovel holder, and it also comes with a flag mount holder. And if you wish to relocate your back license plate, there's a spot for that too. I have ran this mount on Buttercup for quite a long time, which explains why it's so dirty. There's no rattling or anything like that. I really liked it, but I did pay a lot of money for my Brink wheels and I wanted to keep my spare on. So that's why I decided to go ahead and take it off my Bronco and put it onto the two door Bronco. But that's it for this video. What side are you on? Are you team delete or team leave things alone? I always thought I was more anti of a delete person until today, especially the flare deletes. I think it looks great on the two door Bronco. And this is just a cool new look and functionality for the two door Bronco, because whenever we take this out, we're gonna be taking the four door out as well. So if we get a flat tire, you know, we can just get things taken care of. It's not like a dire situation. How likely and how often are you gonna to need to change your spare tire? Probably not, but I don't want to jinx anything. But that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. If you like any of the products you've seen in today's video, it is available at my website at buckleupoffroad.com. And until next time, buckle up, buttercup. Buckle up, buttercup.